All right, let's look at where we left off. We left off with, this is how everything looked. We got our list looking correct. We've got our H1, a little intro. We have a section of this website called Egg. We have a section called Caterpillar, Chrysalis, Adult, and a more information section. Uh, typically, I would add some HTML5 to this, but I would like to teach you this video about the div tag. So you can see these different sections that I've just pointed out. Those are like different divisions. Div stands for divisions. So let's add some div tags to each of these sections. I'll create one here and I'll just put the div start tag and at the end I'll put the div end tag. And I'll do the same thing to each section. Let's see, there's the list, there's the end. And here's my last section. And of course I end it before the body tag, before the body ending tag. Now with those div tags in here, if you look at, let me do a save, yeah. If you look at this, you'll see that nothing has actually changed. There's no difference at all. But the reason I added that div tag is so that I can do things to it. So I'm going to go to the style.css, and here I think I'll put this uh, after the body tag. Div will be my selector, and then I have curly brackets. And just so you can see what a div tag is easy to style, I'll just put a border on it. Um, red dotted for px just so you can see so you can see the div tag is on all of those sections and i put the border on the bottom like we did some other borders where did i put it right there and i made it red so you can see it that's not what i want to do but now you can see the beauty of having a div tag let's do something to the div tag that let's add an image so instead of the border, I'll put um, background image. And here I'll add one of the butterflies. I'll add the adult. And actually, I think I'll move to my shorthand, my background shorthand, so that I can add some more things like no repeat. And I think I'll add, let's put it on the right side in the center. So why don't I do just a reminder here, up here, a little CSS comment, the background shortcut, shorthand, I sometimes say shorthand instead of shortcut. I didn't mean to. Places a space between each value. So that's important to know. So I'm just putting a note there because it'll help you remember. All right, there it is. Um, so I, I just want to talk about the fact that you can see this whole butterfly and it's the height of just about the same height as the whole div section. What would happen 
if we added this image instead of to the div, what if we added it to the h1, for instance, and took it out? I'll just comment it. Took it out of the div tag. Save. So you can see if I, <coughs> excuse me, if I add it to the h1, it's cropped. It's only the height of the h1. Same thing would happen if I added it instead to the H2. I don't have an H2 on here, but what if I added it to an H2? You can see again, it's very cropped. So in this particular instance, adding it to the div is a better choice. I'll just take out this H2 and I'll take the comment off save. So there it is. So why is this, why do we see things in the order that we're seeing them? For instance, what I'm asking is, why is the mid.jpg that is here on the body tag, why is this mid.jpg in the background? And why is the butterfly on top of the background instead of behind it? And why is the text on top of the butterfly? So if we look at our index page, you can see here parentage. You can see that body has a line that goes all the way down the body start tag, and this line goes all the way down to the body end tag. And then the next level of things is the div, the h2, and the ul. And then the next level is the li. So the image that we have attached to the body tag, you can tell by the indentation, is going to be at the far back. The image that we have attached to the div tag is going to be the next level. And so you can see that the text, which is this text that's in front of the butterfly, is the next level up. So this just helps you a little bit about understanding why one image might be in front of another image. In the next video, we'll wrangle this text and we'll learn something about IDs.